going to win a fight or war. Oh, I think it'll pay you a chance for advancement. Yes, sir. Don't you know better than a dragon in the dirt? Yes, sir. What's your name? Kirby, sir. Now, you have to depend on that rifle. Treat it with respect. Yes, sir. You! This area is classified as a combat zone. Put your helmet on and keep it on. Yes, sir. As you were. Keep that pot on. Combat, though, though. What was that? <laughs> okay. Hey, where's the sergeant? He's with the lieutenant. Over there. How you doing, Lieutenant? How are you? Medics have flying me back to England for a week of treatment. Hey, that's fine, Lieutenant. Hey, we'll be able to knock off till you get back, huh? <laughs> they already assigned a replacement officer for the platoon. Uh, what do we get, one of them 90-day wonders? No, you guys got lucky. Lieutenant Douglas, lots of combat experience. Here he is. has knocked out all the standing bridges across the river. But S2 just received word that the Germans have built a pontoon bridge two days ago, somewhere in this area. Now, once our offensive starts, that bridge is their only escape route out of this sector. Our job is to destroy it before 0700 tomorrow. We will make contact with a French underground worker by the name of Antoine Bayard, here. He'll guide us to the bridge. We'll maintain radio silence. We will not engage the enemy except in self-defense or to avoid capture. Any questions? Do we take a demolition man with us, Lieutenant? There's none available, but we'll make out. Bayard will be a big help. He's experienced. I've worked with him before. Oh, sir. About that bridge. Why can't the flyboys knock that out? Weather. They're sucked in back at their airfield. Now, it's a dangerous mission. But obey orders. Do exactly as you're told, and we'll bring it off. Sergeant, I want gear collected. Every man cleaned up and shaved, ready to leave in 20 minutes. Lieutenant Hot Shaw will be ready in a half hour. Can the men wait long enough to have it? Collect sea rations. We'll lead on the way. Yes, sir. Leave all personal effects with the platoon, Sergeant. Well, Sergeant, is he kidding? What do the crowds care if I'm carrying a dear John letter? Now, is that military information? Kirby, we do as you told? I don't know. Maybe we'd be better off with a 90-day wonder. You have a choice?
minutes to get some hot shower, the whole wall would bog down. Yeah, it's more important we get pretty up and shaved for the mission. You get yourself a facial wound, you're gonna wind up thinking him. Now look, we know the reason for the shave every day rule, but that don't make this garbage taste no better, does it? <laughs> All right, knock it off. This area is supposed to be clear for another three miles, but don't count on it. Keep your eyes open and your voices down. Remember, you're not out for a stroll. This way, Sergeant. Take a break before we move into one of your territory, Sergeant. Pass the word. Yes, sir. Take five. That's Crot territory up ahead, so keep it down, huh? Since Omaha Beach. The same here. What outfit will you wear before you join this, sir? I suggest we skip the socializing, Sergeant. Pay attention to our mission. Yes, sir. that picture on her third birthday. I just got it in the mail. Sure is a beauty. Don't look nothing like you, though, Adams. <laughs> you said it. What was that all about? Well, it was a picture of this kid. You know, a fella ought to be married. There's two schools of thought, as far as that's concerned. Well, at least a fella ought to have a girl of his own. Yeah, at least one. There's this girl back home, next farm from us. I'd ask her to wait for me. <laughs> I knew how. Are you kidding? Look, if it's words you need, I'm just the guy that can supply them for you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it. I mean it. 
I'll write you a letter. I'll guarantee we'll put your head in a matrimonial noose. <laughs> Think you could, Kirby? Well, there's nothing to it. Look, it's getting your head out of the noose that's hard. Right? <laughs> I suggest you put your mind to this mission. Now he's telling us what to talk about. What's he got against dames? What's that? Picture of my little girl, Lieutenant. I gave an order. All personal effects were to be left behind. Burn it. Oh, wait a minute, Lieutenant. The Krauts can't get any information from that picture. I said burn it. Move out in two minutes, Sergeant. Get ready to move out. What's the matter, Sergeant? Think I was unfair to Adams? I read the book, Lieutenant. They gave it to me when they gave me my stripes. And the book says there's more than one way to give an order. You don't like the way I give orders? That's right, Lieutenant. These are all good men. They know their jobs. They waste a lot of time talking instead of keeping their minds on this mission. If you want me to stop the men from talking, Lieutenant, give me the order. I didn't say that. All right, as long as the men are able to talk, it's not my job to tell them what to talk about. That's enough, Sergeant. Get them started. Yes, sir. All right, move out! Stay here. Wait for my second. What's with him, Sarge? He doesn't trust us, huh? He's a regular one-man army. <laughs> we just came along for the walk. It don't matter to me if he sticks his neck out. You would like to be able to read him off. Look, Adams, you know what he's doing. He's going by the book. I guess if the crowds get their hands on that picture, they might find some way of using it against you. So, all right. So why did he have to stomp the ashes into the ground like he enjoyed it? I don't know. Let's try to forget it, huh?
got it boxed in. Now he'll be glad to see us. Kirby, you're on me. Maybe we get behind that machine gunner up there. The rest of you give us a couple minutes and then pour it in. Adams, Bronson, try to work your way up there and get that sniper. Go on, move out. Lieutenant, why didn't you obey orders? What orders? Why didn't you stay where I left you? I had no choice. They had us spotted. If we hadn't moved in, they would have cut you apart. I had cover, Sergeant. I could have crawled out of their range. I don't know about that, Lieutenant. Two men are dead because you disobeyed my orders. You know about that, Sergeant. Get them under cover, the Germans, too. Coming to the road. Hey, be careful. Huh. We ain't supposed to think, remember? Uh, wish Andy were here. Well, Lieutenant Hanley isn't here. Hey, Lieutenant wants us. Is that our road, Lieutenant? About a mile up that road to Bayon's place, but it's open country all the way. There's no cover once we get out of these woods. From now on, I want every man on the ball. We're too close to our objective for any more mistakes. Is that understood? I'm sorry, Lieutenant, I didn't think. Okay, come on, let's go back. 
Going our way, they can spot us. We'll have to go over the hill, take a long way around. Lieutenant, when they pass us, we can jump and we can take them without firing a shot. Our orders are to avoid combat, Sergeant. If we had to shoot, we bring every crowd in the area down on us. Lieutenant, if we climb those hills, it's gonna eat up a lot of time. Well, let them go by. Yes, sir. Now, hopefully, we'll find a few more children today. What do you think? We'll get a few children. I hope. Have you heard something? I've nothing heard. Come, we're going further. That's my next. Taking those crowds easy, Sarge. Well, Tyler doesn't want us to do anything the easy way. All right, keep moving. What? What is it, Sergeant? Lieutenant, I know it's not easy to take over a platoon. It takes time to get another man, but no problem, Sergeant. Men obey your orders, we'll get along fine. It's okay. I just twisted it, I guess. All right, girl. Let's see if you can stand on it. Come on. Uh, yeah, sorry. Oh, Sergeant. Kirby hurt his ankle. And the men are beat. How about a break, Lieutenant? They can rest at Bayard's place. It's just over this hill. Come on, put your armor on me. Should they be? They ain't got to blow up no bridge in enemy territory. A bridge you can't even reach. Yeah, it was a long climb to get nowhere. 
Howard. Stay here, watch below. Yes, sir. Let's go. Keep guards posted. Shaver, take the flank. Cage, give your rhino lieutenant. He may need some help. Hey, Cage, if you help him, make sure he asks you first. Don't you worry. This mission is getting to be a real mess. Uh, I used to think I was pretty good at soldiering, but for the first time since D-Day, I ain't so sure of myself no more. We'll be okay, Kirby. Let me take a look at that ankle. Oh, it's okay, Sarge. No matter how you look at it, we gotta walk back. Come on now, let me take a look at it. I think you got a bad sprain. Hey, what do you think of that, Lieutenant? <laughs> if you ask me, he's bucking to be a dead hero. He, you might even have to fix him up with a posthumous medal or something. Now, hold on now. Huh? Oh. Coming back. We can make it that way. It's longer, but there's enough cover. We gotta move fast. Oh, wait a minute, Lieutenant. Kirby's got a bad ankle here. That's okay, Sarge. I can make it. Let's go. Howard, move out! Now he wants us to run. <laughs> Nothing but rush. Hey, good thing I got arms like a gorilla, huh, Kirby? It's a good thing you didn't wait for orders to give me a hand. What is that supposed to mean, soldier? It was just like a little job for giving him a hand, Lieutenant. He can speak for himself, Sergeant. Yes, sir. That's just what I was doing. Thanking little John for giving me a hand. We ready to move out in ten minutes, Lieutenant. Make it five. Easy. Oh. Maybe Kirby should have asked the lieutenant's permission before he banged up his ankles. Yeah. Lieutenant, I want to talk to you about the men. What about them? I tried to tell you before, Lieutenant, these men are good. They're experienced. They've been here since Omaha Beach. And they want to do their jobs, but they can't because you keep pushing them off balance. Off balance? That's right, Lieutenant. I don't know what's eating you, but you make the men jumpy. They keep falling off their feet like they're green recruits. And it's time they acted like frontline soldiers. Then treat them like frontline soldiers. Depend on them. Trust them. I never said I didn't trust them. All right, Lieutenant. It's got nothing to do with trust them. What is it? It's got to be something. We'll get along a lot better, Sergeant, if you just mind your own business. That's just what I'm doing, Lieutenant. All set, sir. Good. We'll finish this mission yet. I'll check it. Franz also tot? Hast du ihn? Ich denke, er ist tot. Da geh rein, ich denke, er lebt noch. Gut.
Check the house. Bayard. Bayard. The attendant. It's been a long time since Montchâtel. I... I... I'll tell you something else. This is the same crowd patrol that caused us to take the long way around. Keep a lookout. What do we do now? Look for the bridge ourselves? Lieutenant, we can find the river and follow it till we get to the bridge. We haven't got that much time. This shots are probably heard by every crowd in the area. We could be outnumbered 100 to 1. We don't even know which way to move along the riverbank, upstream or down. Hey, Sarge. Lieutenant, there's an old man in here still alive. Page. Vous, uh, êtes-vous des Américains? Oui, oui, nous sommes Américains. Je suis le père d'Antoine Bayard. Vous étiez en retard, Antoine était allé vous chercher. Les Boches sont venus, l'ont attendu, l'ont tué. He's Antoine Bayard's father. Antoine went out to look for us because we were so late. While he was gone, the crowd came. I waited for him. Je ne comprends pas comment ils l'ont soupçonné. He says he doesn't know what made the crowd suspicious. He'll be all right, Sarge, just a, just a flesh wound. Avez-vous apporté des explosifs pour faire sauter le pont? Oh, oui. He wants to know if we brought the explosive for the new bridge. Where is the bridge? Écoutez, vous savez où est le pont, exactement la situation du pont? Oui. Tell him to show us on the map. Allez, montrez-nous exactement la position du pont. Sur cette carte ici, nous sommes ici en ce moment. La route mène au pont et à la rivière. À peu près au un kilomètre d'ici. It's less than half a mile from here. Ask him how big a force is guarding the bridge. Écoutez, vous savez exactement combien de sentinelles au pont? Je ne sais pas combien, mais il est très bien gardé. He says he doesn't know exactly, but it's well guarded. Sarge! Allez, cachez-vous! There's a car coming! Crowd! Inside on the double! Double the back! Good trigger, Happy. They may not come in. Let him have it. Ils appellent le poste du pont. For the renfort. It says they're calling the bridge for reinforcements. Well, that gives us maybe ten minutes. We're oh, heading back. Let's get out. What's that? What's that? We're not going to try for the bridge. How can we? The crowd's nowhere here. We know where the bridge is. The fly boys will take care of it first thing in the morning. What if they don't get off the ground? Look, I already lost two men on this mission. I can lose six more if we stay. Every man wiped out. I won't let that happen again. Listen to me, Luke. Again? That's it, Mount Chattel. Lieutenant, I've been looking for answers all day long. Now I finally got them. A whole platoon was wiped out of Mount Chattel. It was your platoon. How do you know about that? Everybody knows about what happened there. About how a platoon took on and destroyed a whole crowd company. What about the officer? He was left for dead with his men. 
And when the medics finally found him, he was still shouting orders to them. You know, Sergeant, I had to sit down and write 31 letters home to the wives and mothers. I don't want to write any more letters. I can't. And that's why you take all the risks yourself. To protect your men. Lieutenant, if we blow this bridge, we might lose some men, but if we don't, and the crowds use it as a way to get out of that pocket, they might cut through the whole division. And if they do, how many officers are going to write how many letters? Sounds like trucks coming down the road. Lieutenant. Lieutenant, it's getting dark. If those reinforcements were pulled from the bridge, it might be easier to get at. Do you have a handle, C3? Yes, sir. I'll right, get going. We'll hold out here as long as we can. We'll try to rendezvous on the hill back of here. Good luck. Thank you, sir.
John, the old man. Yes, sir. 